The new Congress is set to begin today with a divided Republican Congress taking control of the House. But at this point, it's unclear who will become the next Speaker of the House. While GOP leader Kevin McCarthy has secured the majority of his party members' votes to support his bid, that may not be enough for him to win the Speakership. Skylar Henry has more from Capitol Hill. I hope you all have a very nice day. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy's battle to become the next Speaker of the House intensified overnight. We don't know how this Speaker vote is going to turn out. There is genuine uncertainty. In a tweet, Republican Congressman Andy Biggs claimed McCarthy is short of the required 218 votes needed to secure the gavel and added that he will continue to oppose McCarthy for House Speaker. Virginia Congressman Bob Good voiced a similar sentiment while on Fox News Monday. It's worth it to fight for a few hours or even a few days to get the best possible person for speaker instead of just surrendering to the status quo. McCarthy met with members of his caucus again last night to try to shore up support after making concessions on several House rule changes. Those changes include the ability of any five members of the majority party to initiate a vote to remove the speaker. He also promised to establish select committees to investigate President Biden's COVID and border policies and to reviews of the FBI and DOJ's investigations into former President Trump and the January 6th riots. He's given them everything they're asking for and our friends in the Freedom Caucus, they need to take the win because it's good for the country. Incoming House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries, who described the situation on the Republican side as chaos when asked by CBS News, would not commit to working with centrist Republicans to get McCarthy the extra votes he may need. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.